Hello collectors, so we're going to about some Japanese cartoons again because they bought some toy cars. These, this is from a movie, I guess, called The Castle of Cagliostro. I haven't seen it, but I know this director, Miyazaki, he's done a lot of uh, infamous Japanese cartoons like uh, Howl's Moving Castle, Spirited Away, a lot, like a dozen really popular cartoons, which I have seen movies of. So I'm going to probably have to watch this movie. Okay, Lupin the Third dates back to 1967. It was a manga or a, a book series, you know, of cartoons. And uh, <clears throat> I guess this is from that. Well, anyways, Takara here. Let's see how old this guy is. This is from 2002, Pretty Old Toys. Seems like we can remove some parts and add figures into them. Uh, is this brand new? I think this is actually brand new. This tape has not been breached. Some shots from the TV show or cartoons. Excuse me. So Lupin the Third has been made into many cartoon TV shows and full feature movies and stuff like that. Here's some, I don't know where they're from. This is probably from that, but this might be from a different movie. Over here, it looks like there's a relatively modern, maybe like a CGI movie. <clears throat> Again, I, I haven't watched any of these things, so I don't know. Alright, let's <clears throat> open this guy up. No additional paper. Hmm, these cars are in here pretty well. Oh, and the people's legs are in there pretty well. Now one thing I'm noticing off the bat is these look huge. These look much bigger than regular Choro Qs, which is not good. Uh, oh well. It's too late now. Let's get to the people later. So this looks like a Fiat 500. And I recognize these wheels from other Choro Qs. <clears throat> but uh, I also now realize, you know, the proportions you know, it does look like a cartoon car. I could definitely see this being a cartoon. Alright. Well, we got some white headlights here. and Well, it's not really a Fiat logo. But it's raised. It's painted silver. These little turn signals are painted white. And the cast-in bumper is painted silver. There's a little bit of orange here in this marker. Um, it looks like there's like a little bit of a rectangle inside there. So maybe it's clear and painted? I'm not sure. Tires are rubbery, <clears throat> and yeah, it is dated 2002 on the bottom of this thing, and there's two screws holding this together. And that's weird. There's so much axle play there. That's a really strange thing. Okay, so we have the open uh, trunk showing the motor in the back of this Fiat. And then the turn uh, the rear lights look good. You know, turn signals and backup. Well, no backups though. Never mind. Just maybe a reflector and a, a light. A little bit of silver there for the pulleys. Okay. That's gotta be a separate separate piece. It looks like there's an air gap here. Alright. <clears throat> I can't see through that back window. So it might be painted. And then here, yep, alright, this roof comes off. Okay. So I guess we'll get into this guy here. So the people came with bases for their feet. That's the wrong base. Or, well, that's weird. See? No, oh, maybe that is not normal. I just, I'm not that smart. Alright, so you can get the guy's legs onto these. Well, this is weird. The pegs on this one are so far apart. I don't understand this front. There's just no way. Unless this guy's legs are supposed to stretch out a lot. Maybe that's the possibility. Nope. See, look how that's that's a pretty big difference in the gap. So maybe it's just meant to hold one foot down. That's maybe what they were going for. Although the spacing of these look like they would actually hold both feet. Uh, for some reason, the pegs are quite large. They don't really want to fit inside the holes of these feet. 
Or if I could just get one in there, I'll be happy. Alright. Okay, so this must be Lupin. Just based on the photos I was looking up. I don't know who his partner in crime is. I don't know what this person's name is. Please leave a comment if you know. They're packing some heat. Okay. The story of these guys, I guess they're supposed to be some sort of thieves. You know, they're a bunch of criminals. Which is funny. I, I don't know if you... <laughs> You know, in 1967, there was no political correctness, so you could make cartoons about criminals. But nowadays, you, you know, you can't even have, like, guns with toys these days. You can't even sell an action figure with guns. It's just ridiculous. Okay, well, it's also, again, with the torso, pretty tight fit. It's, uh, it's almost like you want to trim away some of the plastic. Like, this dude's... You know what it could be? It's just the fact that these are 20 years old. Maybe the plastic shrank. That's a high possibility. Maybe this plastic was a lot softer as well back 20 years ago, but it's starting to harden. Okay, well, you get the idea. I guess you could take a drill bit and, uh, you know, make the guys whole. But the reason why their torsos come apart is because you can put their torsos into the cars. Or can you? Let's see. Oh, nice. All right. So the arms do articulate. So that peg there. Yeah, I'm going to guess like the plastic shrink because it doesn't want to go on this peg either. It's, it's barely, no, <clears throat> it's barely on there. Well, 20 years ago, I'm pretty sure you could have probably posed this guy further down and, you know, have them chasing each other. All right, let's get past that. You know, let's look at this thing. So look at this image here. This is the only thing I could find, but it's not, these are coops in the, the video, so, or these images. So this isn't quite the same car, nor is it a, what is that, a Renault or something? No, a Citron, I think that's a Citron. So I'm not sure what the deal is with this car, if it ever existed in the Lupin series. But it looks like it's from the 1930s. So again, same wheels, same rubbery tires. And uh, they're much bigger though. This is running front tires, comment to Cheryl Cues. This is running both rear tires, which works. It's an effective uh, use to make them look different. <clears throat> Naturally, you got a lot of textures here and some sort of emblem there, some white paint for the headlights. This front bumper is uh, floating off here, so that's pretty nice. There's a little painted on leather strap and some printed on louvers, tampo prints. Uh, some raised and painted silver exhausts, I guess. The running boards are following there. And there's a little bump on the running board, probably for like a turn signal, but there's no paint. The windshield is actually transparent. Was so that's kind of neat. All right. And then uh, there's that seat. We'll probably pop that off. And then look, it's another spare wheel with this another spare tire. And then again, a floating uh, rear bumper. And then this is from 2002. Two screws holding it together. And a lot, not as much slack in this front axle. So <clears throat> let's see if we can get any either of these guys in this here. Nope, that one's not working. Let me try this guy. Well, the guy really raises his arms up to clear the windscreen. Oh, the you can actually take the windscreen off, so that's nice. But his jacket collides with the back, and yeah, he's not fitting on that peg. The peg is just too large. All right, well, it's not going to fit. Uh, there. <laughs> Sorry, I think he just rolls away. Let's just pretend. Okay, so that's what it could look like if you drilled out the, the hole. I kind of like this guy. You can't even see his eyes. He's, he's covered by the hat. Interesting. Okay. 
Let's uh, pull it up. These guys up next to some Choro cues without the cartoon figures. So here's a Choro Q Fiat 500. This is a Choro Q Zero. Uh, you see the size difference? It's, it's quite huge. Here's a more modern Fiat 500 from Choro Q Zero. So yeah, this Lupin one is significantly larger. It's a different scale of cartoon. <clears throat> here's a Choro Q Bus. Right, so it's it's a, a bus, and yet it's not, the bus looks quite small relative to this classic car here. All right, let's get these two uh, three guys out. Now I do have this old similar era of vehicle. It's either by Kieran or Wanda Coffee. I I can't remember. Sorry, but it's clearly you know just too small they wouldn't they wouldn't look right in the same display but I have this Kinsfun Chevy pickup let's see how that looks uh, well it's better and I have a Kinsfun Volkswagen van now this the van just looks really weird I guess the closest would be a Kinsfun pickup, as you have to have it spread across other displays. But it's almost like uh, this set here is just its own class of cartoon cars. <clears throat> I mean, they, I, I get the impression that they're more realistic to the cartoons just because the wheel sizes are different. Well, the tire sizes are different. You know, the Fiat's got such small tires, and the old car has such tall tires. So that actually looks pretty good. All right. Well, interesting, interesting. Uh, you know, collecting these toys, it's just always nice to learn about stuff. I've always seen like things about Lupin, like yeah, action figures or whatnot, but I just haven't watched it. But now that I know it's actually been directed, this Castle of Cagliostro, directed by Miyazaki, I'm gonna have to try to find it somewhere and try to watch this thing. Alright, let me just pop these seats back in here so you can see. I'm going to just keep these, you know, as cars. I'm not going to have the figures sticking out. There's a top view. So, have any any viewers watched this uh, movie, Castle of Cagliostro? or watched any Loop in the Third TV shows or uh, movies, maybe your comments can motivate me to track these down more. All right, well, thanks for watching again. I'll see you the next time I get some Jero Cues, which will probably be tomorrow. <laughs>